This is my Baofeng UV5R handheld ham radio. It's not a police scanner. It's not really a very capable radio receive unit at all. It can only do FM. It can only listen to small portions of the radio spectrum. So there are much better radios out there for listening. But today on this video, I'm going to list the top five things you can listen to with the Baofeng UV5R. Let's get going. Today I'm going for a hike in Providence Park, Milton, Georgia. I've been here before. Great park. This is a beautiful October day. And I'm really excited to be here. If you're going to buy a Baofeng UV5R and intend just to listen with it, you never intend to transmit, I've got two suggestions for you. Number one, get a license. First of all, you'll learn a lot in the process. Number two, this is a transceiver. It can transmit and receive. Even if you never plan to transmit, it's always nice to have that capability. I've got another video on getting started in ham radio for $15. I suggest you check out that video and other videos on YouTube about getting your license and do it. It's really very easy. The number two suggestion I have is program the radio. Whatever frequencies you wanna to listen to in your area, whatever you find interesting and you wanna do, program them in and disable transmit because you don't want to accidentally push the push to talk button on a police frequency and disrupt their communications. That would be awful. And it's pretty easy to accidentally push the push to talk button. So program in the frequencies you want to listen to with a programming cable software called Chirp and disable the transmits. So you can't accidentally transmit on frequencies. That's it. Let's get started with the list. Ready to get started with the top five things you can listen to with your Baofeng UV5R? Well, so am I. Coming in at number five on the list, and it probably shouldn't even be on the list, but I have to include it, is police fire and rescue. And the reason that it's last on the list and probably shouldn't even be on the list is because this is an analog radio. And mo most police agencies, uh, law enforcement, fire and rescue have switched to digital trunking system. This can't decode digital signal. So, if you're lucky, you live in the right place. You can check radioreference.com. I'll put a link in the description. You can check that out and see maybe there's a police force or a fire that uh, uses a digital system and they retransmit on analog frequencies. Or maybe you have an older police department or fire that haven't upgraded to digital and you will be able to listen to them using this radio. So check out radioreference.com, see what's available in your area. That's number five. Number four on the list of things you can listen to with your Baofeng UV5R is APRS. That's right, Automatic Packet Reporting System. Literally digital packets sent by ham radio operators or beaconed by amateur radio stations. Now these are data packets. So while you're listening to it, you can't actually decode them with your ear or you can't hear it. So you're gonna need an app, whether that be on your phone tablet or PC to be able to decode. There you can hear some APRS traffic. In the data packets are GPS location, including speed and altitude, as well as a symbol. There can be some messages attached, as well as data, like maybe some weather data. Uh, ham set up radio stations and they send real-time information about weather into the APRS-IS network. And you can decode that data. You can also see interesting things. I've seen private aircraft with APRS on it, flying over at 150, 200 miles an hour. Really pretty cool. I've also seen some high altitude balloon experiments that have APRS beacons on them. You can track those. If you're curious about APRS, hit up APRS.FI. Put a link in the description below. You'll see a map. You can go anywhere in the world, but you can look at your area and see what kind of APRS activity goes on in your area. And if you want to get involved and you want to listen, you can use the UV5R. Just set it up onto 144.390 and listen for the activity. If you have an app on your phone or tablet, set your radio next to your phone or tablet and let that decode those packets. I think it'll be pretty cool. I'll show you a screenshot of what APRS activity looks like 
in my area right now. We're up to number three on the top five things you can listen to with your Baofeng UV5R. And that is commercial broadcast FM radio. That's right, the same FM radio that you listen to in your car, you can listen to with your Baofeng. All you need to do is push this orange button right here. Just give it a tap. Don't hold it down or an alarm will go off. Give it a tap and, and it just FM will come up the on the screen of a screen. And you can tune in whichever FM radio station you want, or you can scan the FM section, the broadcast FM portion of the radio spectrum to find stations. We're up to number two. Number two is FRS and GMRS. Now, ham radio is called the amateur radio service. FRS is the family radio service, and GMRS is general mobile radio service. FRS requires specific type certified radios. They can't have a removable antenna. They have to be under two watts. And you'll recognize these as the walkie talkies you might buy in Walmart or Best Buy. The cheap little walkie talkies that family who's on vacation. Well, as you might know, those walkie talkies use channels. You can find the frequencies associated with FRS channels on radioreference.com. So you program in those frequencies and you give it a listen. If you're somewhere near a theme park or a beach or somewhere families uh, go on vacation, you might pick up some interesting radio traffic. GMRS is the general mobile radio service. It requires type certified radios, which again, the Baofeng is not qualified for that. It's not certified for GMRS. It also requires a license. The license is $75 from the FCC, but it covers your whole family and you don't have to take a test. Uh, the GMRS users in our area here in North Georgia have set up a repeater network so they can talk over much greater distances. It's kind of cool. Traffic sounds a lot, a lot like ham radio. There's conversations about the radios themselves. There's talk about uh, whatever, it's chit chat but you can listen in. You can find, again, the channels for GMRS uh, and the frequencies associated with those channels on radioreference.com. So that's number two on the list, FRS, GMRS, and oh, by the way, if you were told by anyone that you can use the Baofeng UV5R without a license and transmit on those FRS or GMRS frequencies, you were lied to. Totally not acceptable uh, against FCC regulations, which carry the force of law. We've made it all the way up to number one. The number one thing you can listen to with your Baofeng UV5R handheld ham radio is ham radio traffic. Yeah, VHF, UHF, the two meter band and the 70 centimeter band, you can listen to them both without a license using this radio. You can't transmit, but you can listen. What are you gonna hear? Well, it's gonna be chit chat. It's gonna be guys talking to each other about radio and other things, maybe the traffic. The way you can find these ham radio stations to listen to, you can do it two ways. First of all, you can scan the two meter and 70 centimeter spectrum of the band. Start at about 140 megahertz, hold down scan and scan the entire range till you hear something. That's the hard way. The easy way is use an app like, I don't know, uh, radio reference or repeater book. Find the repeaters in your area, put in those frequencies, and eventually you're gonna hear some traffic. If you look up the local ham radio club in your area, they'll probably have what they call a net. A net is an online meeting or like a conference. And if you go there at the time, you can listen in on their net and uh, you know, they'll tell you which repeater they have the net on, they'll tell you the time, and uh, you can go ahead and listen to that as well. The other way to do it is if you want more local traffic, is you can try it, is the national calling frequencies. For two meter, that's 146.52. On the UHF side, the 70 centimeter band, that's gonna be 466.0. And you can listen to those. Now, somebody's gonna have to be awful close or pointing a directional antenna right at you, 
but maybe you'll hear somebody really pretty local to you uh, trying to make a simplex contact that is not using a repeater. So that's it. Now you know how to find ham radio traffic on a two meter band and a 70 centimeter band. I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If, uh, if you disagree with my list, if you think I forgot something or got something out of order, go ahead and put it down in the comments. And if you stuck around this long, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up, leave a like and subscribe to my channel for future videos. This is K4BBL, I'm Clear, 7-3.